Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome to Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is an amazing farming simulator game and this game was actually provided to me by Chucklefish Studios, the publisher of the game. So this is the Nintendo Switch edition. I've put in hundreds of hours on the PC. I've put in 100 hours on the PS4 version and here we are today. I'm starting up a brand new save and I want to show you guys what Stardew Valley is all about. Hello! You must be James. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. Huh, <sighs> he's here right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over there, if you'll follow me. Thank you, Robin. So, it's been a little while since I've actually played the opening of this game. I last did a save in December last year, when I got the PS4 edition, and since then, you know what, I actually haven't played all that much. I've been waiting for the Nintendo Switch edition because I've, I've been knowing it's coming for a long time. And I'm so excited to play. So if you haven't played this game before, your granddad, he passes away, unfortunately, and he leaves behind his farm. And it's an absolute tip, believe me. It is a tip and it's huge. And it's your job to restore it, uh, to, to make love with the, the local villagers <laughs> and raise a bunch of animals. And that's, that's the point of the game. It's a beautiful game. You'll get really engrossed. All right, sorry, Robin's talking. Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Man, it's weird to start this game again, you know, knowing how many hours you're going to sink in. I'm so excited for this because I love the Nintendo Switch and I love Stardew Valley. And here we are, your new home. Whew. So, we're going to be doing about the first half an hour of the game, so not too many spoilers here. I mean, there are gameplay mechanic spoilers, but as far as Stardew Valley goes, you know, the rich character development happens later, because all the NPCs change dialogue throughout certain points of the air. Ah, the new farmer, it's Mayor Lewis. How are you doing, Mayor Lewis? It's been a while since I've seen you, buddy. Uh, welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's actually quite a big deal. Yeah, I feel like if they ever do a new Stardew Valley update, I would like it if they added uh, people that would move in in the later years. That'd be really cool, like past year three. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. It's an absolute mess. But we've got that endless supply of wood next to it, right? Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little bit more... Yeah, suitable. <laughs> yeah, Robin's great. Robin's a great little character. It's actually mad how quickly you start liking these characters and how they all get their own personality. Don't listen to her, James. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Too true, Robin. Too true. And your house upgrades are very expensive. All right, okay. Let's get past some of this. I'm sure you guys have uh, maybe seen this before or you're going to play it yourself. I just know you are. If you have a Nintendo Switch, this is a must-have. You don't need to watch me to know that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box over here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. So this game is essentially Harvest Moon, brought to consoles and PC. Uh, it's just a lot bigger. It's a lot, lot bigger. A lot more uh, enriching of an experience. Harvest Moon is a pretty good game. I played the original. I actually got into the original a couple of weeks before I got my hands on Stardew Valley. So I really got to know the first game before I even got to play this one. So that's cool. Okay, you can be done saving now. Hello? Oh my god. <sighs> Welcome to Stardew Valley. We got a uh, slow walk with our D-pad. That's what the directional pad does. And you get a long uh, sprint with your actual analog stick. Okay, so we only have one row, essentially. And I'm hoping the controls... Yeah, they are. Okay, that's awesome. So the way the controls work on console is you can use the R and L buttons to switch between these different rows. So there's a top row, middle row, bottom row. And you'll unlock these with backpack upgrades. But you can actually switch between these on the fly, so you don't need to keep opening your inventory. It's actually more convenient than the PC edition, in a way. Okay, weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast. It's going to be a beautiful day. So every day, you got to go to the TV, see what's going on. Ah, I sense a new viewer has joined us, a young man from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits are very displeased today. They do their best to make your life difficult. 
Thanks. So yeah, the TV gives you information, and uh, it gives you new recipes, and, uh, and good stuff. So you start every adventure with some parsnip seeds. So pretty awesome indeed. And then you literally just get into your absolute mess of a farm. There is just absolute trash all around. It's pretty bad. But it's so nice to see Stardew Valley on an actual Nintendo system. You know, it's inspired by a Nintendo game. Let's put it on its right system, yeah? It's like when Terraria eventually came to uh, the Wii U. It just, it just felt right, guys. Okay, I've got my parsnips going. Good. So the cool thing about the Switch Edition, if you guys are interested, is that Multiplayer Edition is actually coming to the Switch first. So it's coming to PC in early 2018, and then the first console to support it is actually the Nintendo Switch. So out of all the consoles, the Switch is kind of already winning in a way with this game. So I feel like that's pretty awesome. Okay, cultivate and har harvest a parsnip and then introductions. It would be n a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Okay, well, we're going to have to get started on that because it's already quite late in the day. So we need to uh, to go along here. Right, so the beautiful thing about this game is the world is really alive. Like, all the NPCs all have things they like to do. They move throughout the town. They have different dialogue depending on the different types of days. They like to receive gifts. Ah, oh, this is so much to this game. I love it. And I'm so happy to be playing on my Switch. <laughs> I'm so happy. Right, okay. All right, how you doing, Penny? Hi. All right, okay. Penny's not very talkative. Who else can we go and see? All right, Star Drop Saloon is not open. So let's go to here. Let's go say hello to Marie. Oh, no, we're not allowed back here. But we can introduce ourselves this way. Oh, no, wait. Can you go back here? Yeah, okay, you can't enter the back rooms, can you? Whew. All right, Harvey, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Okay, that's that's two people. All right, here's my here's my favorite dude in the whole world. He's honestly the bomb.com. I love this guy. <laughs> so, he'll he'll dislike you for ages. You have to really begin he has to really like you before he'll even really speak to you. A stranger. Hello. So that's Linus. My absolute favorite dude. This is a great gift, thank you. So I always give Linus gifts straight away because Linus is honestly my favorite. So there are random things you can pick up around, so like horse radishes, for example, but you wanna save them because they're actually, oh no, I don't wanna eat that one. You do wanna save them because they are used in community bundles later in the game. Okay, well, there's nothing here. So I wanted to look for some little worms on the ground to show another mechanic, but that's fine. We'll leave it be. So now it's nighttime, the pub should be open. So let's go inside because there are a few people that you'll essentially only meet when you go to the pub, right? And they love coming here. Okay, so you have Shane. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. I don't know. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Okay, Shane's a little bit antisocial. Uh, and we've already met Clint. I'm the town's blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Okay, thank you, Clint. Okay, so this is one of the cool games that you can play. This is Journey of the Period King. So it's kind of like, um, I don't know what the inspiration is, but it reminds me of Dead Ops Arcade from Call of Duty Zombies. There's probably an older game that it's actually referencing, but I don't know it. So it's kind of like a game in a game, really. And you can get little uh, medals, I think. I think it's medals you can get. Hmm. You can get little uh, achievements and stuff for doing this. There is a reward for doing it, but I can't remember what it is. Because I haven't done it in a really long time. These are like, uh, these are little power-ups that you can do. So you can turn yourself into a zombie. Start attacking people. Cool, right? <laughs> this game is hard as nails, honestly. Okay, and you get other games as well by uh, finding the, uh, I can't remember if you have to find them. Or you can just, uh, you can just play them straight away. See, I'm kind of mixing up Starbound here, because Starbound has little arcade machines as well. And there's, re there's a really good one with uh, with rails and a minecart. I don't know if that's this game. Oh, God. Chucklefish games are all blending into one for me. So this is Willy in one of the famous cutscenes. 
Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to see Good to finally meet you. <laughs> I feel like I'm more drunk than he is. I'm trying to read that. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out in the salty seas. It was a big haul. I saw a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Cool, man. Could you imagine going out for a month just being able to buy a fishing rod? Yeah, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from my shop once in a while. Yeah! Da -na -na -na. Awesome. We've got a bamboo pole. Okay, well let's... Uh... Okay, mixed seeds are great. And you can use them later on to make um, some bars. But I'm going to get rid of that. Ah, time to learn to fish. There's a good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Cool. <laughs> oh yeah, my shop's back open now. So come by if you need any supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old papa used to say anyway. All right, let's try out this fishing mechanic. It's, it's, been, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've tried this. Ah. <sighs> But that's it. So as your your relationships build up with different characters, your uh, your little cutscenes start to develop. Okay. Okay, so that's casting it out. Oh, okay, right. I didn't do that right. Okay, so you've got to send it out and wait for it to be bitten. So we wait patiently. It will come eventually. <laughs> Fishing takes time. Way too much time. There we go. Okay, so you gotta bob up and down like this. So you've gotta tap it in a in a rhythm to keep the float kind of in line with the fish. It's kinda hard to pull off to be honest. But you do get used to it. So we've got a sunfish, and we're gonna replace that with the fiber that we got. And we're gonna bin it. So there you go guys. There is a quick look at Stardew Valley for the Nintendo Switch. It's a it's an amazing game. It's one of my favorite games honestly. Very hard to record because there's not too much you can actually show of the game because it's a very repetitive game, but trust me, if you download it, you'll know what I'm talking about or you've watched this because you already know how good this game is. Right, well that's going to do it for today's video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to click that subscribe button here on Chippy's Couch. I also do a ton of Terraria. That game is eventually coming to Nintendo Switch 2, so I look forward to covering that. Alright, well have a good day everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.